Happy New Year's, YouTube family. It is Shirley coming to you with her party shirt. I don't know if you guys seen it, but I wore it a million times because I was really excited about this sh shirt. So if you don't have me on Instagram, I have it on so you guys can see it. Right now, I'm going to be doing the... It's a New Year's tag. It's 10 questions. And I got this tag from this awesome... Uh, person day my lane is her I'm gonna link her YouTube down below I just want to look for a tag for New Year's and I wanted to go ahead and just record it um, this should be uploaded while I am on vacation at the Smoky Mountains and hopefully everything is okay and that we're safe and that we made it there safely and uh, we're enjoying hopefully snow Number one, the first question is, well, let me ask, how are you guys doing? How is your New Year's coming out? I miss you guys. It's been a hectic ride, and I'm just very happy that we made it through and that we actually were able to witness 2018. It's a blessing for us to even be here. So let me know how you guys are doing so far at this present moment, how you're feeling, and how things are coming along since all the kids are, are home for winter break. If you had to choose one word to represent the year you had last year, what would it be? It was pretty chaotic. It was very difficult. Um, what my youngest son had, um, he has behavior uh, issues where we had to get an ABA therapist for him so that he could um, just know not to really overreact and things of that nature. We do not do medications or, or anything of that. Uh, we're not trying to put him under any kind of drugs or anything to calm him down. He's just going to just have therapy until he's able to understand that, you know, this hyper, and he's a toddler, so he's four years old. And that was just the biggest thing for us this year. Uh, last year was for us to just realize that we have to take care of him. And we will, you know, make sure he gets the best treatment needed. And we're very grateful for the ABA therapists that we have. I love them all. They're all three of them. They're here three hours a day, every single day, Monday through Friday. So it uh, was a hard thing to get, but we we're grateful to have that service available to us. Um, would be the biggest and hardest thing we had to deal with for 2018. Number two, what word would you choose to represent your goals for this upcoming year? Save. I need to save money. I need to save money. Save money and also invest. I'm going to start uh, investing into very small things, nothing major, and just see how it goes. And probably just create like a uh, an investing account for the children. So it just grows and it grows with them and they are able to collect it when they're 21 and stuff like that so definitely want to do something like that maybe bonds and things where the money can't just up and disappear number three how old will you turn this year oh i am getting extremely old but it's not that old actually it's okay with me i'm happy to be turning 38 yes 38 yes i am old and it's okay Oh, my goodness. Any travel plans? Yes, we always have travels. So every six months, we try to, you know, go somewhere. It might not be too far. It might not be international like I, I used to do it um, before I had the kids and even during with the kids. So, um, we'll probably take it easy for 2018. I know we'll be going to Orlando for the summer. There's a new Volcano Bay uh, theme park because they got rid of Wet and Wild that we'll probably go ahead and visit during the summer. And then towards the end of the, because we're doing this, well, yeah, we are in the Smoky Mountains right now. We did that for like two weeks. And that's their big trip for um, 20, is for 20, because we did New Year's, so it's 27, 2018. So that's a big trip for both sides. <laughs> and um, we'll probably do something else again towards the end of the year. No, no, we haven't done a cruise line. Uh, last year so we'll probably do one this year or we'll um I don't 
don't know yet, but definitely I'll always keep you guys, you know, I'll keep you guys posted during the summer what the plans are for the, for the next major trip. Number five, if you could travel anywhere, where would it be? Well, I've been to a lot of places. I've been everywhere. I've already went to Paris a couple of times. I've been to South America. Every Antilles, every West Indies, every island you could think of here in Florida, around Florida, I've been there. I've been to, I've been everywhere. I've been on the West Coast, East Coast. I've been to Canada, both sides. Um, I've been to Toronto, Montreal, Halifax. And I've also been on the, you know, Catch a Can and all of that. That's awesome. So I want to take the kids there one day, but... That'll, that'll take time. I would like to, I would love to go to, hmm. yeah, I don't have a place right now. Mm -mm. I'll be going to New York in June. Anywhere out? South Africa, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to work on doing research for South, South Africa, absolutely. Boom, that's gonna be my research. Okay, was that five? Five, if you could travel, okay. Six, if you could change any bad habit, what would it be? Eating ice, I need to stop that. I have this demonic thing here that I'm supposed to have on all the time and I refuse to, it, but I have to help with the TMJ, I have TMJ, so it's hard, see? My jaw is all messed up, and it's all because I'm eating ice. And I, I grind a lot at night, and I put a lot of pressure on my um, gums. So definitely, that's what caused all of the problems, and that's why I have to wear retainers. And it's not cute at this age to have it. <laughs> um, seven. Name a trend you would like to see continue from last year into this upcoming year a trend um i love the trend of uh, the young people are learning how to invest money which is amazing like they're learning how to do this investing thing when they're like 2021 20, and 2021 i was not doing that i was in college collecting loans for st student loans so I think that's an amazing thing where there's a lot of young people that are, are doing a great mindset of of learning how to deal with money and things of that nature. And I would love to see that continue on and prosper. Number eight, what are the official colors of this year? Show us some of your own with those colors. Well, I have the shirt on. These probably be the colors that I will represent. So it'll be a lot of sparkling things this year, for sure. I think that was inspired by a mermaid um, birthday party I recently went to that was so adorable and it was so inspired and I just wanted that whole thing to keep that whole nice shimmery thing to continue on for 2018. And a little bit of pink. Nine, what change would you like to see made to your home? Hmm, I would love to remodel my kitchen. Hmm, we'll see if that happens. That has some light fixtures that I would like to upgrade. Number 10, what is your New Year's resolution? I am going to work on my cholesterol. I've been telling you guys this forever now. I need to really work on it. I need to stop with the, the sweets, the carbs, the bread, the rice, everything that I love. I have to just... Stop. So I'll be fasting for 21 days to see if that would help. And um, we'll, we'll continue on with letting you know about that journey um, throughout the rest of the year. And that, is that it? Was that 10? This year? Yeah, and that was it, just to eat healthier. That was the 10 uh, New Year's tag, you guys. I will link the young ladies um, YouTube where I had found these questions. And that was it, you guys. Continue on being a blessing to others. I will catch you guys on the other side. Enjoy the New Year's and keep it positive.